Hi there, Dean Linnell here with Sutton West Coast Realty in Whistler. I thought I'd give you a quick update on what the different types of property ownership are in Whistler. Now many of you know that there is phase one and phase two property types, but the one question I'm always asked by many new buyers in Whistler is how do these types of properties work? We're very confused. So here's the lowdown. If you're looking for a property that's nightly rentable, so zoned for nightly rental, you have to look in just a couple of areas. Whistler Creekside is one, Whistler Village is the other, as well as Blackcomb Benchlands, and that's the area that's just up from the base of Blackcomb. Now, phase one properties are the least restrictive. If your vision of ownership in Whistler is something that you can rent out occasionally or come and use whenever you want, and just get a little bit of rental income from it to maybe offset some of the costs, then phase one is probably what you're thinking of. Phase ones, you can use as much as you want or do nightly rentals, and you can do renovations, you can put pictures of the kids on the walls, you can paint, you can do anything you want to it. Whereas a phase two are the hotel type properties. So if you're looking at something in the Westin or the Four Seasons or the Alpenglow or say the Holiday Inn, they might be very attractive from a cost point of view. You can now buy studios for as low as fifty or forty-five thousand dollars in the Holiday Inn, but the usage restriction is that the owner can only stay there themselves twenty-eight days in the winter and twenty-eight days in the summer, giving you a total of fifty-six. The other drawback is that if you want to come up on a whim, it's kind of hard to do that. You have to give themselves a little bit of an update. You have to give them a notification and uh, typically what happens is in the winter you get your summer calendar from the hotel telling them when you plan to come the next summer and then in the summer you get your winter calendar so it's very much like booking a hotel if you plan to go down to Florida for Christmas you're not gonna call the day before Christmas and say hey I'm coming so you wanna just make sure you're booked ahead of time with the hotel units you can't renovate you can't paint you can't put pictures of the kids on the walls okay so that's a very very important point. There is a third type of ownership. If you're cruising on the websites and you see something that's a nice two bedroom, looks really fantastic, and it's only $60,000, that's a quarter share. So it's very important to note that on the quarter shares, you can only use them one week out of every four. And it is full ownership, but you own only a quarter of that property. So that's the lowdown in a nutshell. I hope that helps you, and we'll talk to you soon.